All right, sorry I've been off YouTube for a while. I thought I could update you right now. I sold the project truck. I still have the Crown Vic. I'll never get rid of that. That's like a kidney to me. So I bought this uh, 1988 Ford uh, Econoline 350. It's a honey motor home. The company went bankrupt, I think, in the early 2000s. Uh, it drives good. It has a newer engine. Originally, this would have had a throttle body injected engine. So it has a direct port injected. So it's fuel infected. So, uh,. Other than that, she drives great. I enjoy it. I've been driving it around back and forth, here and there, over hill, over dale, you know. Uh, things I'm going to do to it is replace that front bumper with a, uh, a custom one that I'm making. It's all right. Bumper's not too gaudy, you know. It's, it'll do the job. I'd show you the inside, but it's got my uh, tools and such in it for work. So I uh, had chrome covers on this. I didn't even clean it yet because I've been too busy. Uh, I just got these tires on it. They're Pathfinder Sport All Terrains 10 ply. Uh, I like them. They don't hum too much on the highway. I just did that exhaust. It's a thrush welded muffler, so it helps sound awesome, I guess, you know. I like hot rod stuff. And uh, the duct tape so the water don't get in. I'll seal that up when uh, spring actually arrives. It's not that bad looking. Not that bad at all. I like it. Another uh, invisible uh, ceiling thing. Haha. <laughs> it's invisible. That's my power to fuel the beast. Fresh water. Propane, propane, or as in England they call it LP. Hey, look at that train. I mean, a train with airplanes. Train, plane, airplane, RV. This is entertaining, isn't it? I enjoy this. Again, sorry I've been gone so long been working overtime a lot when I'm off work I'm working either on this or just working for my farmer friend there's me in the window I'll uh, make another video for the inside when I clean it up uh, things I'm gonna go do to it on the inside right now this is a dinette opposite of that is a couch that folds into a bed I'm going to put the couch on this side, redo the wall on the inside because it's weak about right here. And round right here. It's a little bit stronger, but this right here is really bad. So what I'm going to do is epoxy some aluminum there because I'm handy with that stuff. Nothing's too hard for me. This RV is going to get the proper love that she gets. On the other side, I got a lazy boy I'm gonna put in, and then my foot prop is gonna be my batteries for my solar, and I'm gonna do solar up top. She's gonna to need, you know, some paint cleaning, but whatever. I don't care. She's doing the job that she needs to do. 
she's a classic so it's going to be a little rough inside's mint you wouldn't even tell that there's a little water damage the water damage is because of this in the shower but again i'll show you that later i'll redo all this caulking she needs work but not too much she's perfect for the age all right see if you can if you like this thank you for watching have a good one.